perhaps one of the largest features in uh, version 4.0 along with the metadata SDK is what you can do with the meta SDK which is to create plugins um, so if you've seen the metadata SDK video you've seen a plugin in action uh, or if you watch the notifications panel revamp a video you've seen the plugin in action uh, with vision lab specifically um, so what are plugins well plugins are actually uh, little DLL files uh, that, that run on the server application itself and they're installed in the server application and they're created using the metadata SDK uh, and once you've installed a plugin you have the ability then to go and configure the plugin to link to a third-party system which allows you to do things like draw bounding boxes uh, gather associated metadata which is stored next to the video so that you can search it even if that third-party system becomes disconnected um, and just to basically have a better situational awareness on, over what's going on by using a third-party uh, object-driven video analytic, right? So um, how plugins work, um, you have to install them on the server application itself. And each plugin um, installs in the same way. Um, and to show you where that is, let me pull up my uh, drive here. I go to C, go to Program Files, you find Network Optics, NX Witness media server and you can see here plugins um, so there are some plugins that come built into the system um, specifically any analytics plugins for uh, compatible cameras where we support the in-camera analytics um, just like with an in-camera analytic plugin um, basically allows us to get the list of events um, that that camera uh, uses um, in, in their analytics and then to trigger event rules in the rules engine uh, with that list of events uh, or actions, right? Uh, mainly events. Um, for metadata driven plugins, uh, it's a little bit more involved. You install a plugin here, um, and then once you've got the plugin installed, then you can go to System Administration um, and you go to Plugins, and you can see here we got Vision Labs plugin set up. And in Vision Labs, we need to point it at a specific server. We need to have the ability to, to log in remotely um, using a token that's generated by the Luna platform from v Vision Labs. Uh, and then we can configure a lot of other things with the with the this server specifically uh, aimed at making it more accurate, right? So the angle of the uh, the viewing, um, acceptable quality, um, what the um, uh, scale is on the on the thing, whether or not you're using GPU or CPU to do the detection. All these things are are native to the Vision Labs plugin. So once you've configured a plugin, um, then it will begin to work. And the way that you make it work, you go to the camera. Go to your camera settings, um, go to plugins again, uh, and then you can enable a plugin on that camera. So right now, this is actually enabled on the other server. Now, one thing to remember is that uh, wherever you're running the plugin is where you'll need to install the plugin. So this plugin is actually installed on uh, my one server um, and is set up there. Uh, it's already enabled for this camera. Um, so if I go into objects right now, you can see that uh, it is working. Actually, I might have disabled it for this camera. Let me check. I'm sorry, I disabled it for that camera. So if I wanted to enable it for, for left eye, I would go here and press enable and press apply. Um, and if I walk over there to that camera, then you'll see the plugin is running right now. So it is running on that camera. So this is a plugin and this is how it works. Um, each of the plugins will have their set, their own set of instructions on how to install them and configure them depending on which brand it is. Right now, uh, we'll be launching 4.0 with a few beta plugins. Um, Vision Labs is one of those beta plugins. Um, and these plugins will be made available um, either one of two places, either in the works of the next marketplace on my.networkoffice.com um, and later on we'll be activating uh, integrations in the cloud and you'll be able to download the plugins uh, directly from the cloud. For right now though, MyMX uh, works for the next marketplace, but this is plugins, so you can see the power of these things. Um, it allows it to run really closely with the server, it's really seamless, and the performance of this, if you check uh, you know, our Vision Labs face plugin versus some of the other systems that are out there running Vision Labs, you'll see a, a significant difference in terms of the performance of that plugin uh, and the ability to see how fast it recognizes faces, how the bounding boxes work, and the paths. So plugins are a really powerful new feature. Um, we expect them to be 
um, developed over the next year or so. We should see a growing number of plugins that are made available to you guys to integrate with third party uh, systems. Um, so, available with the metadata SDK and 4.0, plugins is a cool new feature in 4.0. Thanks, guys.